He's been our friend. He's been one of our family for so long. I'm 15 years old now. He's had a good life. We have to make a decision. Today is the last real day of school, I guess we should say, even though it's not a real day, because it's a half day. Well, they only have four hours of school today, and all they are doing is watching movies or playing games. And me and Lizzie and Azal chose to go to school. Mommy didn't, Mommy's like, you can go. You don't have to go, and we're like, I wanna go. They're like, hey, go sit at school and watch a movie all day? Sure, let's do that, so. <laughs> and tomorrow they only have an hour and a half of school. Are you even going? I'm not losing as I want to go. <laughs> the school has to have so many days. The school district has to have so many days. And so that's why we have these little short half days. And the Because they're making sure they have all of their numbers and all of their days and so many school lunches and all of that to get all their funding. But there's movies at school today. But mommy, the reason why we have half days is because the school it's being torn down in the summer. And they're moving all this stuff out, And huh? so I have to move, so the teachers need more time to move everything out. Mm -hmm. Ego, you're a raccoon! <laughs> Whoa! I'm Rocky the raccoon. I love that tail. Where's your hat? <gasps> Whoa! You just turned into Rocky the raccoon. Where did Canyon go? <laughs> Canyon! All right, Can I say, have you seen Canyon? Have you seen Canyon? Rocket, do you know where Canyon is? Hello, Canyon. Where did you go? Canyon. Rocket. Have you seen Canyon? Do you know where Canyon is, Rocket? Do you know where Canyon is? Whoa, Canyon. Where did Rocket go? Rocket lost his body and his tail. No. Oh, you have his tail. Do you want to eat breakfast? There's his tail on the back. Oh, so cute. Hey, this looks like uh, Mr. Johnny Town hey. Beer. How are you? Welcome to the greatest graduation party. It is this side already. I've only been like four steps in the door and I'm excited. Have you seen anything cool? Hey, guys, what's up? Welcome. Yeah, this is cool. We got face paints. We got photo booth. We got candy. We got everything amazing. April and Davies, and they turned on the, the fountains. And <laughs> this is this was not the best idea, especially for Canyon. Whoa, are you cold now, dude? All right, I'm literally, literally, literally. It's uh, 9:20 at night here. I, I don't know why we always say the time for you guys, but I'm just pacing this floors because um, I was outside today. And um, anyway, a lot happened while we were gone while Allie was here and um, but the biggest thing that we were concerned about while we were home was not Allie. It wasn't, um, it wasn't the house, it was Polar. We didn't want Polar to pass away while we were gone. Well, we get home and he's even more skinny than he's been in a long time and um, anyway, we as a family have decided that we need to sit down and talk about what, um, it's hard for me to talk about, what the future looks like for Polar. 
you guys have seen this and many of you reached out and said just just put him out of his misery well that means you put your dog down but look at this this is this is what's happening right now come here buddy Hold her. This really is one of the hardest decisions that we ever have to, will ever have to make. Polar has been with us longer than Danielle and Savannah and Lizzie and Az and Canyon. He's been our pet, he's been our friend, he's been just one of our family for so long and we, it's, it's so hard to make the choice that we have to actually put him to sleep. If he just, passed away in his sleep like the way of life it would be so much easier but we're just we're just making him suffer by waiting and by selfishly keeping him alive because we don't want to make the decision and we don't want him to be gone so we need to we need to make a decision because, well, we've already made the decision, I think. We just need to make 100% sure that we all agree to it so that nobody's feeling extra bad later on. Like, your mom already got a hold of the vet and they said they would, instead of having us go in there to the vet and just taking him in and having him put down, this vet will do a family style, which is, means we get to be with him just like this and he will pass away peacefully just like this with us. So do you guys want to do it that way or would you rather just have him go into a room? Here probably. Be with him? Allie? Mm -hmm. What? Mm -hmm. Branson? I think that's, I honestly think that's the way he would want it. I would feel terrible because Rocco was blind and deaf when he went in, so he didn't really know what was going on. But Polar will know what's going on. Can you imagine going into a box and worrying about where your family is? I would rather him be just like this. This is his happy spot, is with us. Because a dog's job is to, is to protect you and to care for you and love you. And that's his job. That's why he won't pass away on his own. Because he feels that that's his job still. He won't let go because of us. Here's the other question though, do we want him to suffer still? You guys paid attention to how he walks around the yard and how he goes up and down the stairs. Well, I mean, he was panting heavily and couldn't even get up. We just have, this is the hard, this is the part of the decision we have to make though. Do we continue to allow him to suffer and just be in our backyard and be part of what we're doing until he passes on his own? Or do we relieve him of that suffering that we've seen him doing and do it in our own way where we're, he's surrounded by us and he just passes away peacefully. We have to make that decision. It won't hurt him. He'll just it won't hurt him. go to sleep. He'll just be like this, just right here. And he'll be surrounded by us and he'll go to sleep. He just won't wake up. We know he's not going to give up. We know he's just going to keep trying. So we let him keep doing that. Or do we help him not put up with that anymore. We have to make a decision. I think that we should put him down with him in the living room with us. We won't do it in the living room. We'll probably do it under a tree in a nice on shade. On the grass and the farm. See how much you love the farm. We'll do something like that. You vote that we do that. Why do you say that? Because I don't want him to suffer anymore. I know it needs to be done, but that's the tough part. <clears throat> I think it's time. Hmm? I think it's time. Allie, you guys don't have to make a decision. You just I'm, have to. Said, you, you just have to. We just want just to make sure that you're okay with it. Uh, it's just not fair. It's just, it's just about us 
strengthening each other. It's about us making a decision together, like as a family, instead of just dad making a decision or mom. I don't make decisions. It hurts me to see him walk around the yard. We know that he could die any day. And, we, and, and the decision I keep going through in my mind, which is making it not as hard, is do I want to find him in the kennel and know that he suffered and to the point where he died? Do I want to find him at the bottom of the stairs because he fell down and broke his hip? Do I want to find him to where he fell in the window well? You know, all these different scenarios. Do I want to find him that way or do I want to lay with him as a family together and say goodbye to him? That's makes it a little easier for, for me to know that that's probably the best way to do it. This is his happy place. He knows everybody's here. He knows where everybody's at. Savannah, Lizzie, I think we've already said it. The rest of you, Branson, I think you've already agreed. I think we need to make it happen. Let's just sleep on it. Let's think about it tonight. Let's, let's pray about it. Let's just make sure that we're, we all feel right about it. Not feel good, I, that we feel right about it. That we feel that it's the right thing to do. 15 years old, though. He's had a good life. And it's okay to be sad. It's, it, we, it's absolutely okay to be sad. I think we all feel the same way that we don't want Plur to suffer anymore. We don't want him to be in pain. We know that he's just been hanging on for us and we can't, we can't be selfish and make him be in pain anymore. We love you guys. Thank you for your love and support. We know that you guys have been through this hard time too because you have told us and you've told us how hard it was for you, but also how you were comforted to know that your dog wasn't in pain anymore or your cat or any pet that you had to put down. And we really appreciate that. We really appreciate you letting us know how you were comforted so that we can look to that as well. We love you guys, and as always, you are worth it. You are worth it. Bye, guys. Bye.